pedicle identification. Pedicle screws are an essential part of modern spinal surgery and are used in the lumbosacral spine for degenerative spondylosis, at the thoracolumbar junction for fractures, and in the thoracic and lumbar spines for scoliosis and complex reconstructive surgery. Accurate knowledge of pedicle anatomy and the surface projection of the axis of the pedicle on the posterior elements of the spine is essential for safe insertion. Misplaced pedicle screws may cause neurological injury and will compromise the biomechanical integrity of the construct. The instruments for safe insertion are the pedicle awl, the pedicle probe, and the rongeur. In the lumbar spine, the entry point for the pedicle is at the intersection of a vertical line, tangential to the lateral border of the superior articular process and a horizontal line bisecting the transverse process. The trajectory of the pedicle screws should converge by 5 to 10 degrees in the upper lumbar spine and by 10 to 15 degrees in the lower lumbar spine. To illustrate lumbar pedicle screw insertion, start with the L2 vertebra. On the right-hand side, mark the two lines on the spine the first tangential to the outer border of the superior articular process, and the second bisecting the transverse process. The intersection method gives a more lateral entry point. A more medial entry point at the junction of the isthmus and the superior articular process may be used. In vivo, a small accessory tubercle may be present to aid identification of the entry point. This more medial entry point allows the angle of screw insertion to be closer to the median sagittal plane, but cannot be used at the proximal end of any construct. The pedicle awl is used to open the posterior cortex at the entry point. Hold the head of the pedicle probe in the palm of the hand. Use both hands as shown for maximum safety. The pedicle probe is used to drill as far as the anterior cortex of the vertebral body. In the lumbar spine, there is no requirement for cephalod or caudal tilt in the sagittal plane. The pedicle probe is removed and a K-wire is inserted. Note the significant medial angulation with the use of the lateral intersection method entry point. Use the pedicle awl to open the posterior cortex through the more medial entry point. In vivo, a rongeur may be required to remove the base of the articular process. The pedicle probe is now used to drill through to the anterior cortex. A K-wire is inserted. It can be seen that there is less angulation towards the midline with the medial entry point. This sequence is repeated for the L5 vertebra. The intersection method is marked on the right. And the medial entry site is shown on the left. The pedicle is prepared as previously shown using the pedicle awl and the pedicle probe. A K-wire is inserted. The increase in medial angulation at the L5 level can be seen. After drilling the pedicle on the left, and inserting the K-wire, the difference in angulation of the K-wires using the two entry point methods can be seen. Use of the medial entry point is not appropriate beneath a non-instrumented normal facet joint in the surgical situation. The entry point for S1 pedicle screws is located at the intersection of a vertical line tangential to the lateral border of the S1 articular process and a horizontal line tangential to its inferior border. 
Ideally, the trajectory of the pedicle screws converge towards the midline, but the overhanging pelvis may limit this in vivo. The screws should aim at the anterior corner of the sacral promontory. It is important to identify and avoid the S1 foramen. The surface markings are drawn on the model using a marker and the ideal exit points for the bicortical screws are shown on this model. Laterally exiting screws may injure the L5 nerve root, but the overhanging pelvis may limit the possibility of screws converging near the midline. The pedicle screw track is prepared with the awl and probe. As much medial angulation as the pelvis allows should be used. This shows the ideal trajectory in the lateral view which will be monitored with the image intensifier in the theater. K-wires are inserted bilaterally and at this level medial angulation is symmetrical. In the thoracic spine, the entry point is just below the rim of the upper facet joint and approximately three millimeters lateral to the center of the joint near the base of the transverse process. The screws should converge towards the midline at approximately 7 to 10 degrees. In the sagittal plane, they should be directed 10 to 20 degrees caudally. Use T10 as a typical thoracic vertebra. Identify and mark the surface projection of the pedicle. And use the pedicle awl and pedicle probe to prepare the screw track. The caudal angulation can be seen. And the K-wires demonstrate less than 10 degrees convergence towards the midline. T12 has some atypical anatomical features and these vary from model to model. The entry points can be marked as for the other thoracic vertebrae but removal of the short stubby transverse process at T12 with a rongeur opens the cortex for the ideal entry point. This then can be opened with the pedicle awl and pedicle probe. The K wires can be inserted. The medial angulation can be seen and there is caudal angulation of these wires at T12. This exercise has demonstrated the importance of understanding pedicle anatomy and the surface projection of the axis of the pedicle in determining the entry point. The precise angulation of the pedicle screw trajectory at each level can be determined from preoperative imaging and should allow safe insertion of pedicle screws in the thoracic, lumbar, and sacral spine.